first, the media's obsession with our new princess to be, Meghan Markle's dad. Reports are suggesting her dad, Thomas Markle, will no longer be attending the wedding. Right. Now, the news comes after vision surfaced of Mr Markle supposedly staging photos with British paparazzi and in a new twist of events, the 73-year-old says he suffered a heart attack six days ago. Maybe he got his half of the bill for the wedding. <laughs> but you know what? The more I hear about this guy, the less I like. It is going to take a miracle to stop him ruining her big day. Breaking news is back into hospital and that could be their get out of jail card. As you say, um, it, it gives a cleaner story than him just not turning up. Yes! Yes, he's on his deathbed. Yes! Oh, fingers crossed for a swift passing before the weekend. That, that would make for such a, a special, special day. Uh, more on the royal wedding later in the show. But now to Eurovision and after just Malboy finished 20th out of 26, people didn't hold back. John Kennedy O'Connor is a Eurovision historian. She was terrible. She was describing herself in the media as, as Australia's Beyonce. Clearly, she's never seen Beyonce. Uh, oh, whoa. First things first, Eurovision historian is not a job. <laughs> and secondly, no one says anything bad about our Jess. Was it just talent? As in, as in the better, the better, the better singers winning, as Eurovision normally works. What happened to you? You were right on the Jessica Morbo float. Now you've jumped right off. You are so hard to pick. Up until about 8 o'clock on Friday. Stop but that's it, another stop story. It, stop. Well, hang on a minute. What... <laughs> what happened at 8 o'clock on Friday? Jessica Malboy, uh, who'd been lined up for some time to speak to us this morning, she's unable to join us this morning. We're being told that she's tired. Uh, she's managed to speak to a few media organisations this morning, but I'm um, too tired to speak to us, which is an enormous shame. Oh, Jess, you, no, no, you never tell a breakfast TV host that you are tired. That's like saying I've wasted my life to a Eurovision historian. You just, <laughs> you just don't do it. To the conflict in the Middle East. Well, in the bloodiest single day for Palestinians since the Gaza conflict in 2014, Israeli troops have shot dead dozens of people on the Gaza border as the United States opened its embassy to Israel in Jerusalem. It is impossible to see this in any kind of good light, unless, of course, you're Fox News. This is coinciding with the... Uh... 70th anniversary of the establishment of the state of Israel. So, of course, you're going to have a little clash and you're going to have some uh, blow-ups at the border, and that's to be expected. I think this was a really powerful move forward in the right direction. I'm, I'm very happy that there wasn't a tremendous amount of violence. That's what people were worried about. I mean, there was some violence. We do have mm -hmm. about 51 yeah. people have died, and they say thousands injured in addition, and so maybe we'll find out more in the coming days. Yeah. But due to Hamas... Uh, no, right. uh, they, they were shot and killed by Israelis. Boy, you guys are so one-sided, I'm surprised you don't fall off the earth. <laughs> and that man was never seen again. <laughs> uh, great news, though. Australia is getting its own space agency. It's not about creating another NASA. Uh, NASA is already there. NASA has a role. This is about what Australia does best. Yes, this is about what Australia does best. So we are going to find alien life and glass it with a schooner. <laughs> also this week, Treasurer Scott Morrison tried very hard to start a new nickname for Bill Shorten. Unbeliever Bill. <laughs> Every time you hear Bill Shorten talking, it's unbeliever Bill. They know this bloke is shifty. And they know he's unbeliever Bill. <laughs> Come on, is that the best you can do? What about Rorton Shorten? Bilbo Ball Baggins? Um, silly Billy No Nuts? That was just off the top of my head. Or even better, why don't you take a humiliating mistake that he made and use that against him? Like on Friday when he thought he was wearing headphones. Bill Shorten, thank Thanks. you very much for joining us. Bye. Bill Shorten, opposition leader. <laughs> it's 11 minutes to 8 on breakfast. Hey, headphones! <laughs> Hey, headphones, nice budget reply, headphones. <laughs> yeah, I call on the honourable member for headphones. <laughs> See, that's how you do it, Treasurer.